Minecraft. A game of endless possibilities, of which many new and crazy ideas are yet to even surface. There is so much that you can do with the game that most players don't even know yet. A few months ago, I saw this video by Tom Scott, where he managed to write some code which would check a video's YouTube views every few minutes and then update the title of the video to accurately reflect its view count. But what really caught my attention from this video was the fact that he mentioned right at the start that it would take a miracle for the title to be 100% spot on. Surprise, surprise, every time I've gone and checked in on that video, the title has been 100% accurate. That video by Tom Scott inspired me and gave me an idea. What if I could do something like that, but with Minecraft? Using the views of one of my YouTube videos to create something within the very game where every single person who watched my video would be contributing and helping to make something cool together. Like an experiment where none of us have a clue about the outcome or what could happen, but are all contributing equally. Today, I'm going to be telling you about a unique Minecraft project that I've never seen done before. A project, or rather I should say experiment, which you, yes you watching this video right now, are participating and contributing to at this very moment. The story behind it is quite interesting, so without further ado, let's begin. But before I do, consider subscribing. I've got more projects like this planned in the future, and they are all only possible with you, the viewer. So, after seeing the video by Tom Scott, I had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, but lacked the skills to execute such a thing, and I didn't even know whether it was possible in the first place. So I got to talking with one of my mods and code wizard, the Great Rambler, and started refining my idea. The original goal of the experiment was to work together as a community and accomplish a task that would only be possible with a massive group of people. I had the idea of getting a void world, a world which is completely empty with no blocks at all, and setting the world border to something small, maybe only 1000 blocks or so. Then, the task would be to try and fill the entire area with blocks, just with YouTube views, where every view the video got, one random block from a list of all possible block types would be placed or spawned in that area. This idea was promptly binned when I realized that to fill a void world where the world border is 1000 blocks in each direction from 00, zero it would require over 1 billion blocks and therefore over 1 billion views. And as much as I had faith in this video idea, I wasn't exactly confident that it could become one of only roughly 230 videos to ever reach such a milestone. Even making the world border smaller, only 100 blocks in each direction from 00, zero still would have required over 10 million views. I also realized that while the idea sounded cool, the actual end product would be pretty boring, just a massive cube or something. So that idea was scrapped, and as I tried to think of what I could do next, I knew one thing. I wanted to use the one view equals one block idea, and I was going to try and make it work somehow. You see, the one view equals one block idea would be so cool because the end product would be an accumulation of everybody's work, the entire community as a whole. But the issue became, how could I make this idea a reality within the realm of what was possible? So I started brainstorming once more. What about one view equals one block destroyed in a world? Nah, it would be too messy and would probably just end up looking like the spawn of some anarchy server. What about one view equals one block randomly placed somewhere? Once again, just a glorified anarchy server spawn, but on the right track now. Alright, how about this? For every one view the video gets, one block gets placed in the center of an empty void world, and as more views accumulate, this center mass, or blob, which I began referring to it as, would grow larger and larger. Best of all, the differences in blob size over time would be easily noticeable. Better yet, why not set up a 24-7 livestream that watches the blob's growth, so anybody who was curious could check in every so often to see its progress and expansion in real time. So now I had a plan, get this blob plugin working, set up a 24-7 livestream and stream the blob growing live for at least one week, then finally getting to see the end product. Perfect I thought, this will make an awesome video. Well, unfortunately, it wouldn't turn out this way. How many times have you all watching right now come up with this awesome base design or build in your head, and only upon actually building it did you realize that it wasn't as cool as you envisioned? Well, that's what happened here. Great Rambler got to work and made a plugin that would place a random block out of a total of over 700 different blocks for every view a video got. The blocks would be placed in the center of the world initially, but would begin growing over time. And doing some testing, it started pretty good, and I was quite excited and impressed. But after leaving it AFK and letting it grow for some time, it, well, got kind of boring. You see, once the blob started getting bigger in size, its growth got predictable and slow. It just wasn't that much of an interesting shape, and it got really old really fast. 
Slightly upset, we tried a few different algorithms. That's right, algorithms. You see, in order to actually make the blocks grow, or rather be spawned in in a blob shape, you have to use a specific growth algorithm. And finding algorithms that generate cool shapes that can also be used in Minecraft isn't so easy as I was told. This was certainly the case as we didn't even know what we were looking for in the first place besides something that was quote unquote cool. So the next task was to actually figure out how I wanted the experiment to look. I tried to envision what kind of shape or structure would make people's mouths drop upon first glance. All right, that's exaggerating it a bit, but I just wanted to try and think of what would look cool and immediately grab the attention of somebody who saw it. Something that would look like nothing else in the game, completely out of this world. And after some time, I did in fact think of something, but couldn't find the words to explain it, so I just roughly called it a tree. I wanted an algorithm that would start by placing blocks in a center mass area, sort of like the trunk of a tree, but then begin branching out like crazy all over the place in any direction, any amount of times. So hopefully by the time this little experiment had run its course, we would have this crazy looking structure that will be branching out and going all over the place, looking completely alien. I would be able to do some awesome time lapses with the stream footage and we would get to see some truly incredible growth. Small problem though, an algorithm that could do such a thing was tough to find. Especially one that could do what I wanted it to and not just grow some crappy little tree. Fortunately, I knew some people I could turn to for help and managed to talk to Cortex from the Minecraft at home team who was able to write an algorithm that would, well, grow in a tree-like structure. And after touching up the plugin and getting it more stable, we finally had what I had envisioned. A plugin which not only would be able to accurately represent a YouTube video's view count in Minecraft blocks, but also one which was highly customizable. The plugin had some cool configurations that we could play with. You could change its starting coordinates as well as its blocks placed per view. You could also change the radius of the tree growth, either making it grow in a smaller, confined area or letting it spread out into the abyss. Finally, it had what's known as a seed, which is just like a Minecraft seed, but instead would affect how the tree would grow. This means that even I don't know what the final product will look like from this video. It was finally time. So, here's how it's going to work. If you made it this far in the video, you've already contributed to the experiment. You have successfully placed one block. If you want to see what the project looks like so far, there will be a 24-7 livestream on my channel, linked down below, which I'm hoping will run for at least one week. This means you can check in on it daily or drop by to chat with me and others. Even better, if you want to actually see the tree grow in-game and get up close and personal, hop onto my server, og-network.net, which will also be linked down below, and you can join the experimental game mode, fly around, and watch it grow in real time. While you're there, also feel free to check out our SMP and survival games. After about a week, I'm going to end the 24-hour stream, and then I'll ask you guys if you want to keep the experiment running longer off-stream, or if you want to call it a wrap there. And if all things go smoothly, by the end of the project, I shall be able to do an update video or post where I showcase what we've made all together with some cool time lapses, cinematics, you know what I mean. The best thing about this project is nobody knows how it will go. So far, we've only tested around 500,000 views and one seed. As I stated earlier, the seed impacts how the tree will grow, and there is an almost infinite amount of seeds, all with differing growth styles. So even I don't know what the final project will look like. And if the video gets a lot more views than expected, we could truly have a masterpiece on our hands here. If everything goes well, we'll have created one of the most unique builds in Minecraft history. If not, well I'm sure it will be a funny and interesting story. Either way, I'm excited to see what happens, so be sure to share the video with your friends and leave a like or comment so the project will look even crazier. Come join the Discord and chat, or follow me on Twitter where I'll post some updates on the project each day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing what we can do together.